Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 94 of Java for Tester series, that is equals method of string class in Java. So, what is this equals method? Equals method is this equals method is one of the predefined method in the predefined class known as string class case. Okay. String class in Java has good number of methods and equals method is one of them. So what is the purpose? What is the purpose of using this equals method in Java? The purpose is to compare. Okay, the purpose is to compare the string text or string literals, you can say. Okay, using this equals method of string class, we can compare string literals directly or by storing them into the variables. So let me practically show you guys, okay, how we can use equals method for comparing the string literals. So let's say I create something like string a is equal to, okay, string a is equal to, here I'll give something like Varun, okay, then I'll create another string, I will uh, name this as like, uh, I'll give string literal as Arun. And another string I'll create, string C is equal to, again, Arun I'll give, okay? So guys, using this equals method, using this equals uh, method of string class, I can compare, okay? I can compare this literal with this literal and this literal with this literal and so on, okay? So let's see. So what will happen when I compare? As you can see, when I compare the string literal text that is stored into the variable A with the string literal text that is stored into the variable B, of string class, okay? So are they same guys? Is Varun string literal equal to the, is comparatively equal to the Arun string literal? The answer is no guys. So we'll get the result as false case, okay? We'll get the result as false. So let's find it out. How to how to use this uh, equals method to do that kind of comparison, okay? You have to give the variable name that is here. We have A guys, A dot, okay? A dot, what is the method name? Equals, okay? a dot equals this is a method guys okay they select that method and here i have to compare this string literal stored into the variable a with the string literal stored into the variable b so here i have to give the variable b guys okay in a we have varun string literal stored and in the b we have arun string literal stored okay when i compare these two things with this equals method of string class the result will be guys false because they are not equal okay varun is not equal to Arun. It's not correct. So it will be resulting in false. So when I run this, you see false will be displayed. What if guys, I will compare this B, okay, string literal stored into the variable B with the string literal stored into the variable C. Both are Arun guys, okay. Both are, both the literal uh, string literals are Arun. So they are equal actually. So they should result in true guys. If I give A dot, not A, B dot equals and if I give something like C, okay, in B we have Arun and in C also we have Arun, okay, B dot equals C. This should result in true guys, okay. While this was resulting in false, now this should resulting in true. So let's find it out whether uh, string literal text uh, stored into the variable B is equal to string literal text that is stored into the variable C. Let's run this. You see it is true guys, okay, as expected it is true. So you don't have to even store into uh, the string literals into the variables guys so you can do something like this that is uh, for example i can do something like this system dot out dot print ln. i'll give the string literal like varun okay varun dot equals if i give something like arun here okay varun this is a string literal text string literal equals another string literal okay inside this equals method i have to give the other uh, string literal I want to compare with Varun. Okay, these both are not equal, so it will result in false case. So let's run this and see that you will get the false as a result. What if I give here Arun and here also Arun? Okay, so run this, right click run as Java application. You see, you'll get the true. Like this, guys, you can directly compare the string literal text. Okay, or you can store these string literals into the variables and compare using this equals method. Equals method, as I said, will compare the string literals directly or by storing them into the variables and will result in true or false, okay? If they are equal, then it will result in true. If they are not equal, it will result in false, guys. So this is how, guys, we can use equals uh, method of string class in Java 
for comparing two string literals directly or by storing them into the variables. So that's it, guys. In the next video session, I'll explain the difference between double equal to, okay? Okay, equal to operator and uh, with the equals method. With the equals method, what is the difference? Can I use this uh, double equal to or equal to operator with the equals method? I mean, can I use this uh, for comparing the two strings? And what will happen when I use this operator for comparing two strings? And uh, of it is different uh, when I com compare these uh, two strings with the help of equals method. That thing I'm going to explain as part of the next video session, guys. So difference between this equal to operator and uh, equals method in comparing the two strings in Java. So that's it, guys. See you in the next video session. Thank you. Bye.